Basket Fragrance back again with another fragrance review guys how are you I hope that you're doing well I'm doing fine and uh, I've missed you guys I certainly missed you guys I've been away for a while been taking care of things in my life just had to prioritize so I'm sorry for not uploading I've certainly missed you know coming back to YouTube but I wanted to give you kind of an update on on me and you know where I'm, I'm at with you know my fragrance game I've actually been spending a lot of time on Instagram so um, if you're looking for a little bit more activity from me uh, you'll definitely find me on Instagram I'm gonna put a little uh, tag here kid underscore fragrance that's my handle on Instagram we've made 600 followers there uh, but it's pretty easy to do uh, Instagram follows I don't know I just find that a lot easier than here on YouTube where you kind of have to beg and plead for everybody to subscribe please and hit the like button please hit the like button hit that like button here on this channel while you're at it <laughs> all right it does a great deal of you know when you hit the like button guys it's not you know it's about it's about the algorithm of course but it's about it's like a thank you you know sometimes all you want to hear is a thank you you know to be appreciated you know you spend a lot of time editing these videos and you know just making sure you're making good content or real content or it's coming from the heart so that you guys know it's real I don't get paid for no videos here this is all my own money my own equipment today I'm wearing for example Orman James Zizan this was made in 2008 uh, this fragrance as you can see here is very yellowish uh, I think it's due to the citrusness of the fragrance. I'm going to put it down because it's a very big bottle and I don't want to drop it. It's a beautiful presentation, right? I'll give you that. It's a beautiful, beautiful presentation. It's got the orange lettering there. I love it. The cap is metal. Really heavy bottle. That is the um, the 100 ml uh, bottle. I think it goes over $200 on retail, but I think you can shop it around. It's not a super expensive fragrance. They also have a 50 ml version of this fragrance and is really good i think if you're going to spend 150 on a super you know catchy designer fragrance and you want to have something different armand james has a few fragrances on their end that uh, i think happen to be really really nicely well done uh the other uh, the other fragrance from this house that i am trying is montavaco um from uh that line up there are others that i'm uh, hoping to buy soon so definitely is something that I'm looking towards uh, experiencing actually more uh, of the fragrances that they have they're more steered steer to uh, the fall and the winter and so I'm definitely gonna be uh, uploading some more videos on those types of fragrances uh, come that time uh, for right now I'm definitely enjoying um, uh, Cezanne, uh, which I think is discontinued, but I think you can still get it if you go to Lucky Scent. They still have it, and a couple of other retailers still have this fragrance. If you can find it, get it. Um, if you pay anywhere between 150 to 200, you're not in the wrong ballpark, especially if you get that size, the 100 ml. It's great for the summer, super light, fresh. It lasts all day. I think it has a little bit of icy, super. Oh, did I mention the notes? I probably didn't mention the notes. <laughs> You have some lemon, bergamot, lime. It's a very citrusy top. Uh, you have some juniper, some clary sage, some violet leaf. You also have at the base, you're going to have uh, cedar wood. You're going to have musk and vetiver. And I think it's not listed, I think, because I'm trying Mon Tabaco and it has, I experienced the same thing with this fragrance although this one is lighter than Montabaco is a little bit like a little denser a little richer uh, this one is a little bit of a lighter fragrance and uh, certainly for this very hot day I kind of enjoy this one more because it's it, it stays with you it's a very good citrusy or aromatic fragrance that stays with you all day and then once it gets down to the skin level it starts wasting off your skin and I think that's on account of that ISO supernova that I think is not listed here um, but I certainly enjoy this fragrance very very much I think the price range that you can find this fragrance for a niche house is something uh, that is attainable right if you save a few bucks and you want a nice citrusy summer fragrance that's a niche 
uh, with the niche quality, I think you're definitely going to enjoy Orman James. Listen, this video is probably not gonna get a lot of views, right? Because it's a niche fragrance. I think designers get a lot more like, you know, people involved and, you know, and people enjoy those videos more. But this is something different. Um, yes, I can give you a designer fragrance um, that you can wear, uh, but you know, 10 other guys here on YouTube are talking about the same thing. I'm just trying to give you something else to look into. I'm just trying to give you that. I thank Samir Miss. Matter of fact, I'm saying that because one of you, Samir Miss, gave me the idea to try Oud Na Nawab, Oud of, of Nawab, something like that, from Armand James. And, and I didn't like that fragrance, but she put me onto the house. And that's where I got Cisan, that's where I got Montabaco, and I'm trying a couple of their other fragrances uh, in sample form from uh, Crystal, of course. Uh, she made that all possible because Crystal's a, a, a distributor of Armand James uh, Jane here in the States. And so, bottom line, I'm putting you on to something new. Yes, I can talk about, you know, Aqua de Gio, uh, Profundo, Aqua de Gio Profundo Light, Aqua de Gio, I don't know, the rainbow one, whatever that new one is that's out there. You know, I can talk about that fragrance. As a matter of fact, I'm, I'm definitely going to, uh, I have a, like an $80 credit at Sephora. I'm just going to go get Aqua de Gio Profundo so I can do that. But I know that five other people uh, that are well more known than me, you know, are going to do that fragrance. So why... Why do I waste my time? Not a, it's not a total waste of time, but why would I want to do something like that when I definitely can show you something different, right? Uh, I kind of bias towards niche because, you know, once you go niche, it's a little bit, so you know, you get a little snobby, I think. <laughs> but I certainly, certainly love my designers. I, I've actually bought 10 other designer fragrances, which I haven't talked about, uh, that I will soon. I'm going to do my top 10 summer designers and top 10 summer niche fragrances i think this one right now is something uh that i'm talking about because this happens to be my scent of the day and i haven't uploaded a video for a while um so i just wanted to share that with you guys i didn't mean to be long we're seven minutes in but um you know i certainly missed you guys i'm definitely going to upload some more and i hope to be back really really soon hit that like button while you're at it please it definitely helps me keep motivated to upload some more. I know you guys get excited uh, for any, you know, Fratcom video. You guys support this whole community. Um, if you support me, I know you're supporting a whole bunch of other guys that are just like me that are up there. And, uh, you know, that just helps us get, you know, motivated to upload the next video. So if you want to see the next video, smash that like button subscribe that actually helps a lot too with the algorithm um and then view it all the way if you can I, that's why i'm trying not to make this video any longer than what it is right now so i'm gonna say goodbye take care love you guys i'll see you on the next one bye